Welcome to NL Introduction to Keyboard. My name is Greg and I'll be taking you on this wild ride of learning chords, scales and songs. Everything you need to know to start playing the keyboard. Hope you enjoy. So we're going to start off with a quick warm-up exercise and you won't even need a keyboard to do this so if you don't have one, don't worry. We're going to count the fingers on our hands and we're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, starting with the thumb, one, two, three, four, five. And then with the left hand, same thing, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So now we'll alternate it, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So now we're going to take it to the keyboard and if you don't have a keyboard you can still do this, you can do it on a desk or any surface. We're just going to start, we're going to find middle C first, okay? So middle C is in the middle of the keyboard and it's just the one below the set of two black notes, okay? And it should sound like that. So find that first. And then we're going to play that with the thumb. So that's finger number one. Then we're going to move up to two. Move up another note to three. Another one to four. And finally up to five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One more time. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay? So we're going up. Two, three, just going up that five note scale, yeah? So one, two, three, four, five, using the right hand. And if you can do that, one, two, three, four, five, then we're going to use the left hand now and we're going to go down from C. So we're using, find a middle C again. And counting down five. So one, two, three, four, five, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Now what we can try and try and do is go up and down the scale. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, going up the way. One, two, three, four, five, and then down the way. Four, three, two, one. So one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. And with the left hand, That completes the warm-up exercise. Hello and welcome to week four. Today we're going to learn Sky Boat Song and we're also going to learn the pentatonic scale. So let's start off with that pentatonic scale. Pentatonic basically just means five notes, so there's five notes in the scale. And instead of the usual C, D, E, F, G, C major scale we've been doing. This one's going to miss some of them out, but we're going to go a little bit higher up the scale. So we're going to start as usual, C, D, and E, okay? But then we're skipping F to G and A, okay? So let's just try that a couple of times. C, D, E, G, and A. C, D, E, G, and A. One more time. C, D, E, G, and A. And you'll notice I'm switching to my thumb when I go to the G and A. That's because we're going to keep building higher up as we go. <clears throat> so you'll have the scale in the description. Have a look at that if you're unsure. C, D, E, G, and A. Okay? So once we can do that, will then start building up higher, okay? So C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, okay? We basically just went up to the same notes, they're just, they're the same notes, they're just higher up, okay? You can see how they sound similar, okay? So C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, 
and then up to G again. Okay? So this scale can keep going up. G, A, C, D, E. All the way to the top of the keyboard. It can also keep going all the way down. So. <clears throat> but we're only going to be interested in going around this area for the song. Okay, so let's try that pentatonic scale again. We're going to go from C here, middle C, up to this G. Okay, so. Okay, so let's just try that. C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G. Okay, so let's just recap that pentatonic scale. Only five notes in the scale. Two, three, four, five, and then they repeat. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's try playing that once more, just up to that G. So starting from middle C, up to this G, okay? C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G. So have a look over that, practice the scale. This scale is important because it's used in a lot of Scottish music as well as other music, which is why we're gonna be able to use it in the song that we're doing, Skyboat Song. Okay, so let's use that scale in the song that we're going to play this week. We're going to start on the G, and we're going to go A, G, and then C, okay? So watch out for that rhythm, because it's a little bit tricky. G, A, G, C. Okay, and once we can play that, we'll do the next line. So... Remember to look in the sheet music to make sure you're playing the right notes. G, A, G, C, C, D, E, D, G. Okay. Now we'll move on to the next section, a bit easier. Okay. Bit of a big leap there. E, D, E, A, A, G. Okay. And then all that's going to happen is that whole thing is going to repeat. So let's hear the whole thing. So now we know the melody, so what we'll do is add in the chords with the left hand, okay? <clears throat> and I'll explain exactly when they come in. So we start with a C, okay? C on this first melody note. G on that one, okay? So G on that D. Then we come back to C when we play that next E, okay? So. For that end bit, we'll go to F when we hit that A on the way back down, okay? So, C, and G, C, F, and C. One more time. C, G, and C, and F, and C. Okay, so let's play the whole thing. Basically, that just repeats twice throughout the song, and that's all we need to do, really. So let's try that. The whole thing.
So if you manage to play that and you found that easy and you want an extra challenge, we can play the next bit of the song. I won't tell you exactly what the notes are. <clears throat> You'll have them in the sheet music. You can just follow along, try to make it sound like I'm going to play it. Okay? So here we go. Okay, so that just repeats. We'll play it once more so you can hear it again. Down to G, to F, and now we'll put the two parts together, first part and the second part, so we're playing the full song, okay? Here we go. So congratulations if you made it this far and if you finished off the song, well done. We're now going to do just a little cool down to finish off the lesson. So what we're going to do is a thing called a trill. And what this is really is just moving between two notes. I've picked C and D. We're just going to use two fingers to move between them. And try and build up some speed and do that as fast as you can. other notes, so C and E, C and F, C and G. So that's a fun little thing to do. And then one more thing that we can try is, if you remember back to the five note scale we did in the warm up, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. We're going to try playing both of them at the same time, so we won't need the left hand for the thumb. We can just leave that one out. We're just going to use two, three, four, and five. So it's going to look something like this. I'll play it very slowly. A little bit faster now, both hands at the same time. So that's the end of our cooldown. Thanks for watching today. And if you enjoyed that, remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos.